Hi, everyone, and welcome to the unveiling of OpenAI's GPT-5 with a fully functional robotic body. This is a revolutionary new technology that has the potential to change the world. About GPT-5 is a large language model, LLM, developed by OpenAI. It is a successor to the GPT-4 model, and it is still under development. GPT-5 is trained on a massive data set of text and code, and it can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. Potential Application Education GPT-5 could be used to create personalized learning experiences for students. It could also be used to generate interactive textbooks and educational games. Medicine GPT-5 could be used to develop new medical treatments and diagnostic tools. It could also be used to generate personalized health advice for patients. Customer service. GPT-5 could be used to create chatbots that can answer customer questions and resolve issues. Content creation. GPT-5 could be used to generate creative content, such as articles, blog posts, and scripts. Research. GPT-5 could be used to help researchers find and analyze information. It could also be used to generate new hypotheses and theories. Features T is trained on a massive data set of text and code, which allows it to generate more realistic and informative text. It has a larger vocabulary than GPT-4, which allows it to generate more complex and nuanced text. It is better at understanding and responding to complex questions. It is better at generating different creative text formats, such as poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email, letters, etc., Advantages. Larger dataset. GPT-5 is trained on a massive dataset of text and code, which allows it to generate more realistic and informative text. Larger vocabulary. GPT-5 has a larger vocabulary than previous language models, which allows it to generate more complex and nuanced text. Better understanding of context. GPT-5 is better at understanding the context of a conversation, which allows it to generate more relevant and coherent responses. Better at generating different creative text formats. GPT-5 is better at generating different creative text formats, such as poems, code, scripts, musical pieces, email letters, etc. Drag side misinformation. GPT-5 could be used to generate false or misleading information, which could be used to spread propaganda or deceive people. Hate speech. GPT-5 could be used to generate hate speech, which could be used to incite violence or discrimination. Deepfakes. GPT-5 could be used to create deepfakes, which are videos or audio recordings that have been manipulated to make it look or sound like someone is saying or doing something they never did. Deepfakes could be used to damage someone's reputation or to spread disinformation. Data privacy. GPT-5 is trained on a massive data set of text and code, which includes personal information. This information could be used to track people's online activity or to target them with advertising. Job displacement. GPT-5 could be used to automate tasks that are currently done by humans, such as customer service or content writing. This could lead to job displacement for some people. These are just some of the potential risks of GPT-5. It is important to be aware of these risks and to take steps to mitigate them. For example, developers of GPT-5 could use techniques to filter out harmful content. Users of GPT-5 could be educated about the risks and how to use it responsibly. It is also important to remember that GPT-5 is still under development. As it is further developed, the risks may be reduced. However, it is important to be aware of the risks now so that we can take steps to mitigate them. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would also love to hear your feedback in the comments below. I appreciate your support, and I look forward to creating more content for you in the future.